So I'm really interested in the fundamental uh, physics that drives natural processes. Um, we're interested in how animals swim, big animals. But it turns out that what's happening at the very small scale, um, equivalent to the tiny hairs and the structure of your arm, it turns out that that has a large effect on the overall performance of a lot of swimming fish. One benefit to studying that is designing vehicles, whether it's small micro air vehicles that can fly autonomously or just improving the performance of vehicles that we have. Um, and it also just tells us something about all the different processes that are available to us. As engineers, we tend to stick with one or two things that work, but nature has, has infinite solutions to the same problem. So we love working with the National Zoo. What that allows is for our students to not just see what's happening in the laboratory, but to really observe the natural world to some extent. It also gives them a chance to see different types of science. So in addition to just sitting at a lab bench, what's it like to do field work? One thing I do try and really do is work with a lot of undergrads. Um, at any given time, there's maybe five or six undergrads actively working on a project in my lab. I've had experience working for Dr. Lefwich in her lab, working on the hydrodynamics and unsteady propulsion of sea lion flippers. Um, what's been really great about that experience is I've not only gotten technical skills and problem solving skills, but real actual lab experience working with lab equipment. I very much concentrate on teamwork, so I like for everyone in my lab to have a chance to be the leader of a project, but it's also very important to be able to call on your lab mates in supporting roles. Um, and I think that when you move into the job market, these sort of intangible skills, knowing how to both lead, but also to follow and to contribute, really does translate to sort of hitting the ground running.